everybody, Chris, the Up North Air Gunner, and this is the new FX Pocket Chronograph 2.0. And this right here is the smallest chronograph I have ever seen. This thing literally fits into the palm of my hand. So, yep, it's got a new small form factor. But So there are some new features of this thing that actually make this um, completely better than the previous version. So the previous version of the Pocket Chronograph, I absolutely love that thing. It was a complete game changer as far as being able to know your velocity for a lot of different projectiles. I was using it for archery. I was using my crossbows. I was using it on my air guns. But the velocity uh, limitations on that thing um, really necessitated something to be changed and this new upgrade in this thing is it goes up to 1,250 feet per second. So when I'm out there 1, with my 22 long rifles, 81. I wasn't able to pick up a lot of those things as I was maybe shooting some 1, like high velocity ammunition. It just couldn't pick it up. So this 1, being able to pick up projectiles up to 1,250 feet per second is an awesome new feature. So a lot of us that are shooting uh, precision 22 LR, I mean, I have some ammunition that gets up there in like 1,100 feet per second. Usually I'm shooting stuff in that, that, that 1050 feet per second range. So the newest features of this that I'm most excited about, so really it is about the battery life. So the batteries in those previous versions, and a lot of times they would just eat batteries. Um, I would get out to the range, it would die while I was using it. Sometimes I pull it out of the bag, it was dead. I just didn't have the you know any batteries with me. So this actually has an onboard lithium battery with a little USB-C port. You can easily uh, change with a little dust cover around there. So super convenient. And this thing has actually been holding in charge for a long time. I actually don't know what the battery life is on this since when I first charged it, I, I haven't had to recharge it yet. So I'll, I'll do an update later on to let you know. A little quick uh, on off button here on the side. Actually, I like this a lot better on the original version. There was that teeny tiny little on off button on the, on the backside and it didn't really like that. So this actually has a really good, um, uh, nice rubberized on off button here. So the other cool thing about this is it has this, these four little grub screws here on the side that holds in. I'm using right now my wife's uh, hair tie to, I use these to basically put it over my uh, barrel or my shroud on my air guns and get my velocity readings. And I like taking this on and off. And that's what I typically go with. Now, so I know there's a lot of competition shooters that like using the chronograph like on the fly. They might, you know, see some weird um, velocity fluctuations so they can make some changes during competition. So you might want it permanently attached to the rifle. This does come with a Picatinny attachment. So that is actually pretty darn cool. And I actually think there's some some folks in our community that are already developing a Arco Rail um, attachment for this. So so check that out. There's going to be guys that are going to be doing some some 3D modded stuff. So you can run this on Arco Rail and some other upgrades to that. But that, that Picatinny on there just basically slides right in there, holds in with these four little grub screws. And there you go. That's permanently attached to your air gun. And you're picking up velocities. The new app, you'll see an option in the app now, in the FX Chronograph app. You'll see it for the Pocket version uh, 2.0. You can still use the original Pocket version. And you're also going to see some options in there for this. And this right here, if you've been watching my channel for the last few months, and I know a lot of times I say things are game changers, right? But this truly is a game changer. Um, when this first came out, this is the FX Chronograph, the True Ballistic Chronograph. It, yeah, man. I tell you what, I have used this thing so much. I literally take this to the range with me every single time I go out and I'm I'm seeing new things. I'm actually learning much more about our own sport just by using this. I'm actually, it's kind of debunking some previously held thoughts or ideas or data that I thought was true. And a lot of it has to do with the ability to read ballistic coefficient on the fly with whatever projectile you're shooting. And a lot of times, you know, I'll go off whatever the manufacturer says the BC was and whatever, you know, rig they were either testing in. They've got that state and BC number in the air gun sector and things will be off. It might dope. Things will be off. And then I start playing with scope height or velocity or, you know, I start changing all those parameters. So as I'm chewing up my dope in my ballistic app, I'm basically just keeping that BC number because I had no way of knowing other than what the manufacturer said it was. Well, now I don't have to guess. Basically, this is picking up that ballistic coefficient shot to shot and giving you a BC average over your shot strength. So doing your dope chart is it's, it's so simple. Now you've got the information right there on that last screen to, to see what you're doing. Um, I will tell you, I also last year, or maybe about a year and a half ago, I went out with my 6.5 Creedmoor and I was testing a whole bunch of ammunition. 
I spent probably close to 400 bucks on just off the shelf ammo. I was going through like varmint cartridges, all the way up to 147 grain mash grade ammo. And you know, it's got the BC on the box, right? And so just go off that BC. Well, that's usually not completely accurate with whatever gun you're shooting it out of. And I burned through a lot of ammo trying to chew up my dope on that thing. Um, lots of ammo got pretty expensive, quite honestly. And this, so this could have been a cost saving feature. So this really is a must have if you're really getting serious into the sport. So my vision is not as good as it used to be. You'll see that I've been wearing glasses and pot more often here recently. And I used to be able to see like the little spiral sometimes like in my pellets or my slugs and just with my eyes and my vision. I, I haven't been able to pick that up as much as possible. So unless the sunlight and the reflection off the projectile is absolutely perfect, I just can't pick up that little wobble or the spiral. And with this, I actually can see it in that BC rating. All of a sudden, if you see one shot drop in BC, it's probably because there's some instability between where it's picking it up and, and hitting that target. So that BC fluctuation sometimes will tell you, hey, maybe I'm pushing this too hard. Maybe I need to slow it down. Maybe I just need to change the velocity up. Um, maybe I got dented, you know, skirts on my pellets, whatever. You can see that in the BC rating shot to shot. And then it actually does give you an average as you uh, shoot a shot string. So another cool thing about this is that I've been using this with my, my 177 Dreamline. And I'm only shooting out to 55 yards. And so I set those distances at 10, 20, 30, 40 and what was great about that is I was getting the true average BC off of those teeny tiny little 177 pellets and all those BC ratings that I was getting with that 177 JSB pellet, it was spot on. I mean, I was hitting targets. I was clearing stages that were out to 55 yards. Super fun, by the way, Pyramid Cup. So Tyler, Val, Emily, great job out there, Pyramid Cup. I had an absolute blast. But yeah, preparing for those competitions. I mean, this right here is going to save you a lot of time. So this will definitely pay for itself within the first year that you're using this thing, especially if you're into uh, firearm tuning and hand reloading cartridges. This is where you're going to want to go with. Um, the accuracy of this thing, um, I have not done a head-to-head -head comparison with like the RIT Lab Radar, for example, or some of the other chronographs out there. I have done a head-to-head -head with my own Caldwell, um, and the velocity is just probably within a few percentage points of each other. It's spot-on accurate. But what I love about this, there's no need for any kind of external microphone. A lot of times with lab radars, we've used them in the past. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the air guns because you got to get that little external microphone and plug it in. This is so sensitive. I honestly think out of the hundreds of shots that I have shot with using this thing, it's maybe dropped two, one or two. I actually cannot remember the last time it has a dropped a shot. So I take this out with me every time I go to the range. One of the coolest tests that I did with this uh, recently is uh, with my CZ457 uh, 22 long rifle. I picked up a box of those 22 Stangers, uh, like the 32 grain, but they're like over 1,600 feet per second. Um, so I was able to use this, and I had always wondered, and you get online and there's always this constant debate of, you know, shooting supersonic and, you know, those smaller projectiles, they're snapping right back to subsonic right away. So what's the point? And going through that transonic zone, it's going to, you know, send that slug tumbling into the atmosphere, uh, which isn't true. Um, so when I went out and did this test with those Stangers, it was so cool. Muzzle velocity, I think, was over 1,600 feet per second. But there's a feature on this where you can actually see where that projectile is coming back subsonic. And so it was kind of cool to see that, hey, those Stangers, they're staying supersonic out to 90 yards, which is absolutely awesome. And coming back subsonic right at uh, around 90 yards. So cool little piece of data. But again, with center fire, I can see where that feature would actually pretty be pretty cool to understand what the subsonic kind of snapback is on that to stay out of that transonic zone. Um, but yeah, but now you have access to all that data. So this is like having kind of like a, a new superhero, you know, superpower. So now as a uh, shooter, I can see all that data that I had to guess on, on before. And now I've got it there in true ballistics. So there is everybody, the new FX pocket chronograph version 2.0 and the FX true ballistics chronograph. So definitely check these out. It is like being able to see the invisible <laughs> and actually have real data now. So thanks everybody for joining me. Take care. <laughs>